Wine consumption continues to grow in the U.S. every year, with sales reaching over $56 billion. But the problem is, some drinkers are allergic to it, partly due to the extra sulfites that winemakers add for storage. The problem with sulfites, though, is that they cause a lot of reactions in people, uh, and they're known to be toxic, and they taste really, really bad as well. Now one Chicago-based startup called Olo is hoping to bring wine back to its natural state with their new wine purifier that takes the sulfites out without losing its taste. Inside Ulo is the sulfite selective filter. This is what captures the sulfites. The sulfites stick to it. The sulfites actually occur naturally as a byproduct of fermentation, but only to about five parts per million. That's well below uh, the safety threshold. It would not cause reactions in people. Uh, winemakers will add up to a hundredfold more sulfites artificially. These are completely synthetically derived chemicals and they're there to keep the wine preserved. So that segment of the sulfites is very unnatural and that's what we want to take out. James Kornacki spent years creating this filtering technology after a family member had a sensitivity and could no longer drink wine. Tell me a little bit about the science of this. How are you able to still keep the taste but take out the sulfites? What enabled this product was the selective sulfite capture technology that I developed, which treats uh, sulfites more as um, something that can be pulled out with a magnet, if you will. We don't filter the sulfites out using a net like, or a sieve. We use a property, we exploit a property of the sulfites, the reactivity to capture them on a polymer, but to do so selectively so we don't screw up the wine chemistry. The product, which sells for about $80, got its start through a Kickstarter campaign and is now being sold in Bloomingdale's and Brookstone locations around the country. But Kornacki says there are still a lot of critics out there. I always approach it with a little bit of skepticism, I think, because sulfites are really misunderstood and there's a lot of misinformation about them and it's a really polarizing concept. We've been very clear from the beginning, we're not demonizing sulfites. We understand and respect their use. So once winemakers understand that, they recognize that this product's really expanding their market. If you're someone who thinks you might be sensitive to sulfites, maybe you try this, maybe you have a second glass of wine when before you could only have one. Cheers. I'm Jade Scipioni for FoxBusiness.com.